Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. Today we're going to see how you put a Google map into your web page. Uh, you can pick it any size or position to put it in the page. You design it that way with Photoshop and uh, it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and uh, and drop a Google map into, uh, into your page then with a, a little bit of hand editing. I'll show you how you do that. Okay, so first thing we'll do is look at a design of a very, very simple page in Photoshop. We have Photoshop CS3 running. Um, there's really nothing to this page other than a title, the background. <clears throat> the big red box is where we're going to put our map, and uh, this gray area over here is where we're going to put our text. So uh, there's really a no, there's no naming convention for this. It's, uh, it's really a matter of how we're going to edit the file uh, after, we, after we convert it. So uh, I'll just show you that the big red square here We've named this layer map. It doesn't have to be named map. You can you can name it anything you want, but we named it map, and that's going to help us find the code to edit in the generated um, code that PSD to CSS Online will generate for you. All the other stuff is pretty straightforward. We've got a link, and uh, <clears throat> our background is centered here, and we made it a JPEG, and uh, we have a background. So uh, the real important part is that we want to note is uh, is that this layer is named map. But you can see it's got a specific shape and a size, and that's exactly where we want our map, too. So I'll show you how we do that. So I think this file is already saved. Yep. So what we'll do is go to uh, PSD to CSS Online. We will upload our PSD file, and uh, PSD to CSS Online will convert it to uh, our HTML and CSS code and our images and JavaScript. Um, here we go. It's all finished. Now uh, we could we could look at it, and it looks just like it did in Photoshop. You can see it's centered, and we've got our t space for text that we'll put in manually. We've got a red box for where the map is going to go. So um, what we would need to do though, because we're going to edit this file, is download the zip file. This has all the code in it. There you go. I'm going to move this all into this folder over here I have called Google Maps. There we go. Copied it in. Now we're going to need uh, we're going to actually need a Google Map. So you you um, you get the code for embedding a Google Map into your web page by visiting maps.google.com and uh, typing in the address that you want a map for, just like you would ever use Maps at Google. Um, <clears throat> and then to, to get this onto our web page, what you need to do is over on the right here, there's a, a icon or there's a, a, a link that says link. If you click that, it gives you two different kinds of code that you can cop copy and paste. We're interested in the paste HTML to embed paste HTML to embed in a website. And what we'll do is just highlight it and copy it. So now we've copied it to our clipboard. So we'll go over here now into the folder where we put all our generated code, and we're going to edit the index.html file, and like so. Uh, this is Notepad++. It's a very good editor. It does color syntax highlighting. makes it real easy to edit HTML file code. Um, now the, uh, the layer that we wanted uh, to put our map in, we named map, right? So we're going to use the uh, search ability here to look for the word map and there it is and you can see this is the code that was just generated by PSD to CSS online and it says this is map and here is a layer div layer 4 and it's got uh, that red image in it so what we're gonna do here's one here's one kind of uncool thing we have to do uh, the div tag normally you, you want uh, for nice well formatted code you'd like this uh, the end div tag to be uh, to to match indentation with the uh, the beginning div tag. This is the beginning div tag, and this is the end div tag, and everything in between it is what's going to be in this in this div or this CSS layer. Um, CSS to uh, PS, PSD to CSS Online generates the end div tag right after the image, and that's because of a bug in Internet Explorer. If you don't do that, the image doesn't uh, doesn't render correctly in IE. <clears throat> So, uh, so okay, so we got past the IE ugliness. And um, so we've, we've already copied uh, the code from Google into our clipboard. 
And so what we're going to do is paste it into this layer, into this map layer. I purposely, for the moment, left the image tag there. And I'll show you why right now. Because the uh, the code that uh, Internet Explorer generated for us, I'm sorry, the code that uh, Google uh, Maps generated for us has a width and height in it. But we have our own width and height. We have very specific width and height that we designed in with Photoshop. So what we're going to do is take this 361 for width. You can see it's called width. And we're going to paste it in here for the width that Google wants. And the same thing for height. We're going to copy the, the height that we want and paste it in for the height that Google said. As soon as you've done that, once we've done that, then we don't need this image tag anymore. In fact, you, you don't want it. You don't, we don't want the big red square anymore. So that's that's it. That's the whole. That's all the editing I had to do to this file. I went to go find where my map's supposed to be, and I could find it nice and easily because the word map is there. That's the word that we named our layer. You would look for whatever you name your layer. Um, and we changed the width and height in the code. We pasted the code in from Google, and we changed the width and height, and that's it. So we'll save this file now. And when we visit this page that we just had generated, sure enough, there is our Google map with uh, a map to Encinitas, California, just uh, exactly as I'd ask Google to generate for me. It is exactly the size of the uh, red square, and uh, everything else is just like PSD to CSS Online always does. It uh, generated our code for us and left us a space for some text. And... Uh, that's that. So uh, Google Maps are easy to add to your web, web designs. You can pick any shape, by the way. We picked a fairly rectangular, you know, a normal kind of aspect ratio rectangle for our map. But you could make really narrow, tall maps. You can make really wide, short maps. You can make it any any kind of rectangular shape you want. And uh, as long as you change the uh, those size parameters, um, it'll work. So uh, there you go. Uh, have fun.